In this video, I'm going to show you how you can hide the continue button on the results slide unless your learner passes the quiz. Okay, so I saw this uh, comment on the Adobe forum, specifically in elearning.adobe.com. Uh, it was a simple question. I would like to know if there's a way we can hide the continue button on the quiz results slide in a situation where the user fails the quiz. Absolutely requires a very simple advanced action that we run on enter of our results slide and we need to make a custom continue button. So let me show you what I would do in this situation. So here I have a, a quiz. It's a seven question quiz which means that you have to get six right in order to pass 80%. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to head down to the quiz results slide. First thing we're going to do is drag this continue button, which is kind of baked into the results slide. We're just going to drag that over to the scrap area there. And I'm going to grab a shape and I'm just going to roughly make something about the same size as the other button on here and uh, we'll just call it continue. And we'll just make it look the same as our review quiz button there. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna select use as a button and the action in this case could be go to next slide or could be continue. I am gonna select the hand cursor and disable the click sound. So that's fine, we're all good there. I think it's really important whenever you're writing advanced actions to always label your objects and questions. So this is going to be custom continue button. All right, so what we want to do is have an on enter advanced action and we're going to use a system variable to check to see whether we've passed or not. So I'm going to go into the project drop down menu and select advanced actions and I'm going to call this results underscore enter and this will be a conditional advanced action so we'll select that first and we're going to look at that variable and see if it meets the condition that we're trying to meet here so we're going to go into variables you can cheat a little bit and type in part of the variable name if you want to find it quickly in this case here we're looking at cp quiz info pass fail if you pass CP quiz info pass fail is assigned a value of one. If you fail, it's assigned an, a value of zero. So we're just going to say we're going to check to see if it is equal to the literal value of one. And then all we need to do is show our custom continue button. Now down here in the else section, we're going to take care of the situation when CP quiz info pass fail is not equal to one, in other words, zero. So we're going to hide our custom continue button. So again, just let's review the logic here. If you pass, we will show this custom continue button. If you fail, we're going to hide it and you won't be able to continue. You'll have to review the quiz or retake the quiz, whatever you set up your quiz to do. So let's save this as an action. Click OK and click close. We're going to run this advanced action on enter of our quiz results slide. So execute advanced actions and there it is there, results enter. So let's test this out. We'll do a preview in HTML5 in browser, see if it works. All right, so Canada is the second largest country by total area. Submit. I'm going to purposely get this wrong, actually. We'll just quickly go through and choose some random wrong answers here. I think that's probably enough. I don't even need to really pay attention. So I know I've gotten more than one answer incorrect there. And we'll just quickly go through this. You can see I didn't pass, so I don't get a continue button. Let's reset this and go through it again and see if we see our continue button. And it's all of the above here for this question. And Toronto is the largest city in Canada. Justin Trudeau is the 23rd prime minister. And he was also elected in 2019. And the reigning monarch of the United Kingdom is our head of state. And 
1982 is the correct answer to this question. So now we pass the course and of course our continue button appears there. So we're good to go. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.